Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got a little bit of an issue going on with the F-150. If you see this right here, truck is on. There's no LED. That one's not working. The one in the back. All right, so the first things first, yes, this is my truck. We're gonna go here, we're gonna look for codes. I already know what the codes are, and it's gonna be dealing with the power inverter through the body control module. And what's going on is it, there's something in the circuit that is causing the inverter, which is down there, that's already been replaced before. So I know that's not the issue because I've already tested it. Um, and then the body control module down there, that's gonna be fuse 35. It's got power on it. And then the one under the hood, which, or um, fuse 36, which is actually on the leg that has a wire going to it. That one's good too. So let's go to view. And there's gonna be a code in the body control module. I think it's like a 13, yeah. 1330 DC AC inverter module. And there's a TSB 25 excuse me, 2273, and I actually have that pulled up, which is right here. So what it's saying is that some of the vehicles equipped with the 400 watt, oh, excuse me, DC AC inverter system in the pickup bed, which it does have an outlet in the pickup bed, it's not working, all right? It's telling you Let me go down here to where it, this harness right here, see how this is all like, looks like two separate wires. I did a video on this a while back and then this is two wires that goes up. This is where it connects under the bumper. We're gonna go under there and look at it, okay? That's how it would be from the factory. And it's, it's asking you to remove the socket harness retainer from, from the socket harness. Discard the retainer. Is it a Raptor? No, go to step seven, which would be six and seven. Inspect the connector for presence of corrosion, dirt, and or damage. Is corrosion, dirt, damage present in the connector? Yes, it says replace the pickup bed connector, AC power outlet socket assembly. Um, so this has already been done before, but they didn't replace the assembly. So they said no, repeat it at step eight. Repair, um, install a new AC bed pickup outlet socket harness retainer. And then what they want is that retainer right there. See how it's, it's taped up? And then They want you to pull it back and then see how all this is like a loop. They want you to fold it over like that and zip tie it and then tape it so it looks like that. So let's go underneath my truck and mine looks like that. So somebody had already done this TSB right here because there was no dirt, no contamination or anything like that. But now it is not working. Okay, here we are. This is the driver's side of the truck. There's the bumper. It's this connector. Here's where it goes in. You see they taped it and then it runs up. See how it's all folded and taped up here? So I believe we actually have a bad um, plug connector. So we have a new one we're gonna install. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it, unclip it from here, and then go up there and take the bolts out and then put a new one in and then we're gonna connect it to the LIN module or the LIN network. So I'll show you what that looks like and I'll show you the tools that you're gonna to need to do this. Here's the new one in the box. And it's already nice and taped up, see? 
new clip on it. Which way down here. This is the new style. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go underneath there, we're gonna unclip it, and then the tools that you will need is A, panel poppers, and then you're gonna be able to unclip. So let's go under here and do it. All right. Push the button in, pull it out. All that dirt fall out of there. Panel popper. Well, that broke. That's okay, because we have a new one. Now all this is free, all the way up to the back. Now we're gonna go up in the back of the truck and we're gonna unscrew it. T30. Wrong way. Just four of them. I'm at the house. I don't have my Milwaukee. So let me get these undone and then we'll pull it out. All right, got all the screws out. It's probably stuck in there. I got right aligned. Nice. And I'm gonna show you guys something. See what it says right there? Apply Motorcraft electrical grease to the pickup bed AC power outlet socket connector and reconnect it. So we're gonna put some dielectric grease on the new connector. Oh, this is a brand new bottle. Come on. Sorry, I had to get it going. Just want a little bit. See it coming out of the tip there? Hey, little bee. Here you go. I don't want any of that. There we go. Probably should have just done this while it was under the truck. Set that over there. See all that dirt and everything that's just down inside there. Uh, slide that down. Oh look, <laughs> it's still stuck in there. That's okay. That's what the handy dandy panel poppers are for. All right, let's see if we can get that back in there. No, you don't want to sit here and watch me screw screws in. So let me get these screwed in. Started with my finger and then we'll be right back. All right, new one screwed in. Let's go underneath the truck. Oh, there's our cable. It's going to go there. And then we make our connection and we already put the dielectric grease on it. It's gonna go if I can get it to plug it. Come on. One-handed. The button goes on top. And click. Now that all that's done, I got to reset the battery monitoring system and then VCM local interconnect network, new module initialization. So let's do that. All right, the truck's on. 
Then um, FDRS. I'm gonna clear the code. Clear. Yes. Clear. I don't want to go self test. What? Toolbox. Battery. Reset learn values. Run. Yes. The ignition is on. Test in progress. Come on, come on, come on. I'm just going to have him turn it off. Ding, ding, ding. So it reset. Turn the ignition off. OK. 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 Now I'm going to turn it back on. And then I'm going to go Lin. VCM local interconnect module initial initialization download run. OK. Key is on. OK. Currently processing. Turn it off. OK. 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 Now. <clears throat> view. Oh, wait. Oh, it helps if I turn it on. Clear. Continue. Hopefully this fixes it. Well, we got all green. Code's gone. Now. Did it fix it? Hey, look. We got a light on. That means it's working. We got a light on. It means it's working. Go check the bed. We have a light on. That means it's working. So the power is now working. This thing was faulty. So this is the inverter. You see, that's been replaced before. So the problem was between that bed outlet going into here, sending a code to the body control module, stating that something was wrong. But now we have power and obviously the truck's off. But hey, look, I got an extension right here. So I can go start the truck back up. Hang on. All right, truck's running, got power. Let me turn this off, plug this in. And we're gonna get a light. Hey, hey, we got power in the truck. We got power everywhere. The light indicates that it's working. So that's the fix. Turn it back on. Retest. All green. Everything's good. So if you are having a problem with your front outlet, the 12 volt up here, the back one, or the one in the tailgate, none of them are lit up, um, then more than likely you're gonna have to replace that tailgate. I also have another video talking about what I just went through in here and I'll leave that up in the description, but that fixed the concern, easy fix. The part was only like 60 bucks. So at least it wasn't an inverter because the inverter by itself is $500. Or you can get it with a little plastic tray that it comes in already installed in the plastic tray and it's like $200, explain that. But 
we are fixed. That's how you fix the concern. That's how you get the power outlets back on. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.